We're now in Daniel the fourth chapter, and Daniel the fourth chapter is yet another dream interpretation, and uh, this one, uh, um, Nebuchadnezzar tells Daniel the dream rather than making him guess at it or pray for it or, or whatever it is, and, and the dream has to do with a great fall on Nebuchadnezzar's uh, behalf. Uh, he, he is going to uh, fall from power, fall from grace, because of his pride. And Daniel immediately sees what this dream is about, and he doesn't want to share the interpretation. It makes him afraid, but Nebuchadnezzar insists. And so he tells him, you know, that, that hey, the, the tree in this dream, well, it represents uh, you, and it gets cut down, but and it, because of your pride, you're going to fall, but you will be restored. And so um, oftentimes, you know, kings and you know, people who are in power, or people who, for whom things are going their way, the wealthy and so on, uh, they uh, become prideful. They forget about their roots. They forget about uh, how it is that they got to where they got. And when you reach that place of uh, too much pride and too little faith, you know, uh, you know there may still be some... Uh, vestiges of faith you still say you believe in God you maybe even still go to church but if faith is not really impacting your life today well it's not really an active and living faith and instead pride can replace it and an assumption that you know everything is always going to be fine because things are fine now well Nebuchadnezzar is given this warning a stern warning in his dream that he must not become too prideful and yet he uh, instead decides you know to to uh, continue in his prideful ways and not to give glory to God for the place where he has gotten but rather to uh, take that glory upon himself and then he falls and he falls hard but because he eventually finds his way back to an understanding of God and to humility he is finally restored and so uh, this is a lesson for all of us I mean most of us don't you know have you know kingdoms and so forth but we all have the places the things that we are proud of and the things that we have accomplished but remember always that it is God's grace that has brought us thus far and it is God's uh, there but for the grace of God go I uh, when it comes to those who have not achieved the successes that we have achieved a pride never ends well in the Bible. It is always something that, uh, you know, that, that, uh, that is torn down, that is knocked down, and God is always uh, tearing down the proud, but lifting up the humble. And so uh, when we are, can remain humble and recognize that the gifts that God has given us are for his use uh, in our lives, when we can recognize that the things that we have achieved, we have not achieved alone, uh, things will go well. And when we forget those things and when we become too prideful, uh, just around the corner there may be a stern warning or even a fall.